Lori here from The Lori Show. I'm doing a sh very short video today. Um, I'm um, continuing with my path to riches. And there's been, a, there's been a little bit of movement with certain things in my life, a little bit of change, a little bit of things kind of seeming to happen, let alone me doing inspired action. It could be in result to inspired action that leads to certain occurrences. Um, one thing I wanted to throw out there is something that I'm experiencing as I use the law of attraction is that one thing that I am experiencing, and please let me know if you've experienced the same kind of thing, is that I keep hearing, um, as I study the law of attraction, I know mindfulness and meditation is very important. I need to quiet my mind, I need to sit and be very quiet, and I need to have my palms up, and I need to let my chakras clear, and I need to let energy flow in me, and I need to breathe, especially deep belly breaths, and um, of course, I'm not um, a meditation expert and I can put some links below to some really great meditation uh, videos uh, with a couple of my favorite YouTubers. But the point of what I'm saying is I want to be very quiet and keep my mind still. But I'm also experiencing this interesting thing of a bombardment of ideas, of messages, of synchronicities, of really cool experiences where I'm, I'm literally, I'm not saying I'm, I'm not hearing voices, don't get freaked out. I'm getting messages. I'm getting ideas constantly. So I find that when I'm meditating, I have to stop and write something down. I do this constantly. And it doesn't make for a really good meditation, um, I guess, session. Um, what I'm doing right now is one minute at a time. I'm doing a one minute meditation. One minute meditation. I'm trying to do it multiple times throughout the day. It's working for me. And I imagine this has to do with the idea that we're all different. We all lose weight differently. We all gain weight differently. We all fall asleep doing different strategies. We all need different things. And I think that that is part of the idea of individual differences. I guess there are learning styles. You know, as a teacher, I kind of go with that idea. There's the auditory learning style, visual and tech, um, tactile. When it comes to meditation, I guess there are different ways to do meditation. And I know there are, there are many different mindfulness techniques, but this is what I'm doing. So please share with me, are you experiencing this kind of thing? Do you have trouble meditating? Do you have trouble, um, unless I just haven't been able to let go completely just yet, I'm afraid I'm gonna miss a good idea. I'm afraid, I'm, I'm having FOMO. I'm having fear of missing out. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Please give me a thumbs up. Give me a like if you resonate with anything here. Please comment below um, whether you experience trouble with um, any trouble with meditation. Maybe you can also put a really nice little affirmation for yourself is um, meditation may be difficult, but it's getting easier for me every time I do it. Or meditation gets easier as I go. Something like that. Um, okay, guys, I love you. Please be positive. A, be positive.